Hey, what's up, guys? It's retired Navy SEAL and New York Times best-selling author Jason Redmond. I want to talk to you about something I heard the other day. You know, I spent 21 years of my life as a SEAL and grew up around firearms, working with firearms, learning about firearm safety, learning how to be effective with a firearm as a tool in the most crazy chaotic situations, up, down, night, dark, falling, whatever it was, learning about firearm safety. And one of my coaches is a uh, firefighter and paramedic. And he talked to me the other day about a call that he responded to where a young man, father of a couple of kids, had purchased his first firearm. He was all excited about it, decided to clean it, and uh, was cleaning it and he did not clear the firearm and discharged it into his thigh where it struck his femoral artery and even when my uh when my coach showed up to try and save him unfortunately he had lost too much blood and he bled out and died and guys I'm dumbfounded by this. I travel all over the country and I meet people all the time that want to talk to me about guns. They tell me about the gun they have. They talk about personal defense and safety and all the craziness that's going on in this world. And frequently I'm astounded at the amount of people that own firearms that don't know some of the basic principles of firearm safety, of how we clear a gun, how we do things like that to make sure that we can be safe with a firearm you know, and only use it for when we really need it to execute with that deadly force is necessary. And uh, guys, that's why we started our Overcoming Defense Workshop. It is targeted at basic, basic weapon safety, basic sight picture acquisition, basic manipulating of a weapon, being able to use it, being able to change magazines, being able to manage a malfunction. There's a lot of courses out there that are run by friends of mine, super high level. They're training guys at the highest level. They're taking guys, teaching them how to do close quarters battle. They're teaching them how to do weapons transition, shoulder transitions, how to transition from a primary gun to a secondary gun. And you know what? That's fantastic stuff. Those are some of the stuff that I learned also. But guys, what I really want to do is train the average every everyday American on how to defend themselves and be safe while doing it with their family and friends around them. Guys, I can't believe when I heard that story. This is my everyday carry gun, six hour 365. And I see this mistake made all the time. So I'm gonna give you this tip. Remember my safety, my safety. What I see happen so many times, my safety stands for this. It stands for first remove the magazine. You gotta remove the source. And then we pull the slide back. And that's gonna empty the round out of the chamber so that your weapon is clear. And what tends to happen is people do this in reverse. They bring the slide back and they think, oh, I saw a round come out. And then they chamber it again. And guys, when I remove the magazine, guess what? There's another round in the chamber. And this happens all the time. So the guys, that's why we have to remember my safety. So first thing you're gonna do, M stands for magazine. You always remove the magazine first. The magazine first, the source. Right now there's gonna be a round in the chamber. And now it's gonna be clear. And the second, last thing we're gonna do guys, we're always gonna check. I like to stick my finger right into the barrel, right into where that round goes and make sure there's nothing there. Now I know my weapon is clear. So guys, remember my safety. M stands for magazine, remove the magazine first. S stands for slide, then we clear the slide. That's how you make sure you don't get that out of order. Guys, that's a little tip for you on weapon safety. Those are some of the things that we're gonna be teaching at our Overcome and Survive Defense Workshop coming up September 16th through 18th. Guys, I have an amazing group of people. We are teaching survival. We are teaching how you have a mindset to combat violent encounters. I have an amazing world-renowned martial arts and self-defense expert, Sifu Allen Baker, who's gonna be coming in. He's gonna teach you not only how, worst case scenario, how can you defend yourself? More importantly, guys, gonna teach you how to assess it, a situation, get out of it, and verbally de-escalate it before it ever comes to this. Because let's be real, most people don't wanna ever get to this. They haven't been trained to that level, and without a whole lot of training, you don't even wanna be in that level with a violent offender, a hardcore criminal, you don't want to be in that situation. We're going to teach weapon safety. We're going to teach first aid. How do you treat a bleeding wound? How do you treat a gunshot wound in this day and age with the violence we're encountering around the world? 
All these things we're teaching, Overcome and Survive Defense Workshop, right here in uh, the Virginia Beach area, Moyoc, North Carolina area. Guys, this is gonna be a great event all weekend, working with retired SEALs, working with special operations individuals, working with paramedics and firefighters. We're gonna help you so that you can overcome and survive. Go to overcomeandsurvive.com if you wanna sign up. I'm out.